welcome to Neom in Saudi Arabia. Just over my shoulder here, the most stunning backdrop. That is where the desert meets the Red Sea. And that is the location for our season opener of Extreme Season 3 Race for the Planet. This is an all electric odyssey and it starts right here. We race on ice, we race through mud, we race, we race over rocks. And here we're racing in the desert. The battle for the Desert X Prix will begin out there. We're shining a light on the most remote areas in the world most affected by climate change and we're shining a light on gender parity as there is a male and a female driver in each of our 10 brilliant teams. Let me show you around event site. We're here in the Explorer Lounge. What a view we've got here of the racing action which will take place below us. We also hang out here in between races as well and you can see the Vodafone Command Centre. That is our tech hub, our pit wall if you will. That is where teams will crunch the numbers, crunch the data and make sure they are executing the perfect team strategy. Let's head inside now to our beautiful hospitality area here. This is the Explorer Lounge and it's bustling with people. It's brilliant to see, isn't it, on this Friday ahead of our season opener. And I, and I found some of our drivers. We have Heike here. I'm going to call this Rookie Corner, Heike, and I'm not sure I can really call a Formula One Grand Prix winner a rookie but I've gone for it. You're a rookie in Extreme, aren't you? Absolutely rookie, yeah. There's a long way to go and a lot, many things to learn, but uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to the challenge. And yeah, this morning the course felt nice. So yeah, so looking forward to the next session already. And what has inspired you to come into stream, Extreme? Why Extreme? Just because it's so different to what I'm used to. I mean, I've done all my career on the racing circuits, but uh, this kind of loose surface uh, uh, in rallying and now in the Extreme has sort of... Uh, you know, shifted my heart a little bit. Uh, the passion is, is towards the sort of gravel and, and the loose stuff. And uh, yeah, a lot of good teams, good drivers here. It's a massive challenge uh, to uh, be competitive, but uh, yeah, I'm not afraid of it. So just working my way through to hopefully improve the pace. You've got plenty of off-road experience, haven't you? I mean, you've done Japan Rally Championship for years. You won the Race of Champions on your debut. I've been doing my research, beating Sebastian Loeb and Michael Schumacher. But actually, most of those, even the Japanese rally, is on tarmac. It's on the rally car, but it's on tarmac. Only two events last year, uh, gravel events. And uh, I've done a little bit of rallying in Finland this year on the snow and ice conditions. But uh, I haven't done enough yet on the loose surface. It's, it's totally different to racing uh, on, on tarmac. So you know, it's just kind of like rewire your brain. Just uh, get the car sideways. I'm always too neat and tidy like most circuit races are. Like Esa Bekalapi, the WRC driver, he told me that once you start seeing the cause from the side window and side door and you have full opposite lock, then, then we are talking, then we are talking the right thing. So I'm still seeing everything through the front windscreen, which is not a good thing. So I'll try to see more from the side window. So you sending it out there. That win in the Hungarian Grand Prix in 2008, it can't help you now, Heike. You're in extreme E now. Thank you so much. Best of luck. Are you both gamers? I will not say I'm a gamer. I don't know about hacky. Are you a gamer? Yeah, Some furious nodding. I do play simulator games and then oh, I'm also big Tom Clancy, uh, Clancy like a uh, shooting strategy game player. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a gamer. I have a proper simulator at, at home as well, but I don't have this game yet. So. Ah, so your first, well, that wasn't quite the line you should have been taking there, was it? Yeah, well, it's just, dis you disturb me now, so. <laughs> Oh, it's my fault. I see. I see. NASA, I'm not. I know this egg chair. Wow, comfy, isn't it? How are you doing? You're back for another season. Yeah, I'm quite happy, you know, to come back. You know, uh, the second season for us and the third season of the championship. You know, it's uh, it's nice to start here in Neom and uh, it's look. The location is uh, fantastic. You know, uh, mountain, uh, ocean, and uh, sandy, and uh, yeah, it will be interest uh, race. And of course, the sunshine, the wind, the conditions out here, you must be pretty used to this from Dakar Rally. Yes, absolutely, you know, because uh, this year I've been uh, three times here in uh, Saudi, you know, Dakar and uh, Hail Rally, and now we are here in uh, Extreme E, and uh, I'm really quite happy, you know, to, to, to come back here in Saudi, and uh, I have a lot of uh, supporter and a lot of... Uh, uh, people behind me, you know, want me to win this race. A lot of uh, pressure, but okay, we need to enjoy. And uh, this is uh, the, the the first race of the season. We need to be really clever and uh, and uh, really um, we need to do our best. 
Yeah, absolutely. And you will. And you've got two chances this weekend as well. It's a double header. Uh, the first of our season opener here, the Desert X Prix. It's a brand new sporting format for this season. Let's find out a bit more about it. Extreme E is a fully electric off-road racing championship consisting of 10 world-class teams made up of one male and one female driver. In each session, both drivers will compete behind the wheel of the Odyssey 21 electric SUV with a driver changeover known as the switch halfway through. Each driver gets an Anoa hyperdrive boost in every session and there are bonus points for the fastest team through the Continental Traction Challenge section of the course. First up, it's qualifying, where everybody races twice in a bid to finish as high as possible in the qualifying standings. Then it's time to earn some championship points. From qualifying, the bottom five teams go into the redemption race, while the top five proceed to the grand final and compete to win the X Prix and lift the trophy. It's a season-long battle. Ten rounds, one champion. Season three of Xtreme E is about to kick off in Neom. I'm really, really excited. And uh, as Rosberg X Racing, we're really going to go out there and try and get that title back from X44. Uh, it was a tough one at the end of last year to lose it like that. Um, but, you know, we're raring to go. We're going to learn our lessons. Um, same drivers again with Johan Christofferson, Michaela, Alan Kotolinski. And I personally uh, subjectively think that we've got the strongest driver line up there. Um, so I'm really confident for this year. And our competition, though, is strong. Huh? Certainly X44 again, and then all the other names from last year, like Axiona Science and, and the Ganassi team, etc. Um, so I'm looking forward to some great battles. Uh, of course, two races and two finals per weekend this year. So many more races, much more action. That's going to be super. I'm also looking forward to uh, you know that developing those, um, those projects that we're launching for, for the good cause, for the social cause, uh, raising awareness for climate change, and also locally fighting climate change. Um, I'm sure we're going to make great progress there uh, and growing our impact, you know, as a championship. That's important and dear to all of us. Um, I'll be at a race very, very soon, either Sardinia or, uh, or Scotland and coming up. Look forward to attending again. Um, yeah, and I hope, uh, I wish all of us exciting racing. That's also really important and I'm really looking forward to it. And I'll probably be watching from home in Monaco for the first race and then uh, probably uh, at the race itself on the on the next time bye bye everybody we're handling the desert x pre as a 24 7 operation and managing it from across three time zones our team manager is handling the paddock in neon and i am coordinating in-race strategy from melbourne and the team principal is manning our race hq in london and of course the real work is taking place in the car on the circuit with our drivers at the wheel oh yes I mentioned the crack team that are making this Desert X Prix happen. Let's speak to the event manager now. Louis, how much has gone into making this possible? More than you'll ever know. Yeah, as you'll see from my picture, I had long hair before this. The stress, You're losing it all. The stress of this event is, is killing me. But we're loving it. We're having a great time and first bit of um, practice. So we we're, we're really look forward to it. It looks amazing. Thank you so much. Keep doing all the brilliant work you're doing. Sorry, RJ. Come to me here, Chip Ganassi Racing. Arja, you're back. You made your debut in Uruguay last time out. You're back for some more. What's brought you here? Yeah, I had a blast in Uruguay, so I had to come back for some more, you know. Um, man, this extreme field is so tough, and, and the battles are, are so wild. So I'm excited to be here. Um, season one, last year I came in kind of on the heels of a whole season with a task to do, and uh, we fell a little short, but I'm excited to start fresh. You know, I have a new teammate, Amanda, and I'm really excited to get the season underway here. How's your winter been? How's your prep been for this one? Yeah, what's awesome is obviously we brought uh, the team brought on uh, myself full time as well as Amanda. So um, we we got to do some testing in the off season. Um, it's been winter at home, so we haven't had the best conditions to go um, quite into the desert. But uh, we've gotten to do a little bit. The team obviously is is prepared at, Ch at Chip Ganassi Racing, and uh, we'll see what we can do with this GMC Hummer EV all season. Thank you very much, RJ. Best of luck to you this season, and great to see you back as well. Amanda, hello. Um, earlier on, I had Heike here. This is called Rookie Corner, this area here. You're brand new to the Extreme family, certainly not to motorsport and to cars, but welcome. How are you feeling ahead of your first season? Uh, I'm feeling great. Uh, I just went for my first uh, test session, and there was a lot of adrenaline. So just kind of working through, understanding everything, and we have such little time to perfect everything that it's like, 
it's really, you gotta really just put your game face on, you know? Give me a game face. Go on, give it to me. Down, down the face. barrel of the camera, yeah. The give me a game face. face. Oh, I love it. Absolute smizing. Uh, yeah, what are your ambitions this season? Coming in, fresh, new, wanting to make an impact. Um, honestly, I think so. RJ and I are both kind of like new, so we are, you have two new faces in the seat, which is a lot of learning to do. Um, fortunately, our team is um, very good at walking us through everything, kind of telling us the do's and the don'ts, the experiences that they've already had. So we're able to kind of absorb everything that they give us and kind of take it and um, put our spin on it. But I think just driving smart is kind of key here, right? There's a lot of, uh, there's lots of gotchas out there. Absolutely. How much are you enjoying the vibe of it as well? We've got drivers in here, we've got drivers playing fours of the paddock. It's such a friendly place to be. What are you feeling about all of that? Very fun. Um, we're in the middle of Saudi Arabia. How cool is that? Like, <laughs> we have a nice little setup. Everything's very, like, I don't know, just very well put together. You feel like, you feel very, uh, it's very fun out here. It is very fun indeed. It's going to be fun out there as well. Definitely. Thank you so much, Amanda. Lovely to chat to you. You won't be a rookie after this. I'm going to rudely interrupt and pull Bobby towards me <laughs> from Fox. Tell us what Fox does for these cars to ensure that they survive the courses that we put on for them. So we supply uh, high-performance dampers for the cars um, that allows them to go these crazy speeds that they do across this brutal terrain. How much work goes into a season and how much work do you guys have to do throughout the course of each weekend as well? Yeah, so the work, I mean, we did a lot of work up front to really get a good base tune and the teams have been quite happy with it. And then the work ongoing just depends on, you know, how much carnage there is out there. <laughs> and there's always a fair bit of drama and carnage, isn't there? Yeah, always. Usually every round there's, there's some kind of rollover or something like that that requires us to jump in and help out. So. Oh, we love it. We'll keep you busy. No worries about that. Thank you, Bobby. Um, and I'm going to pull Clara rudely out of this conversation and speak to her now. We've spoken to NASA about the season ahead. Welcome back to you. Obviously, you stepped in for last season. You guys got your maiden win in Uruguay, and now you are back. I'm excited for you. How motivated are you? What's your mindset? Oh, wow, I'm so excited. I'm not going to lie. You know, the whole team, me and NASA, we are so excited to, to get this season started here in Saudi. My first time ever being in Saudi, uh, first time ever racing on sand. So I wish I had a few Dakars in my resume, but uh, no, it's going to be fun. I have the best teacher possible, so uh, we're going to enjoy this weekend. And I was just talking to some of the, the newbies, Heiki and Amanda and, and RJ to an extent as well, about the vibe of Extremi. You, you came in through last season. How special is it? Oh, it's very special. It's like a big family, you know. Everyone speaks to everyone, and it's just a nice vibe. Like, we, we want to beat each other off tr on track, but off track, we're just great friends. So it's, uh, it's a nice family. Yeah, you can definitely see that and feel that. that everybody here is in it for the right reasons and is loving it. Yeah, we're just, you know, really happy to be here. Everyone loves racing, and uh, yeah, I can't wait to get started. I'm going to come and distract you again, Heiki. Sorry. Uh, how are you getting on? Uh, I've just lost uh, the, the stage that we were, you know, setting the time, so I need somebody to come and help me with this system now. Oh, he's furious. We need some help. We need some help. Let me show you what Heiki is fighting for. This is the leaderboard. Lewis Mitchell, one of the guys from Andretti, he's top. He's beating Fraser McConnell of X44. He's beating Timmy Hansen a world rallycross champion in third. I think that's Timo there as well. Christina from X44, Christine GZ. We've got Steph Travers, deputy principal of X44, and the press officer, Jess Sykes of X44. They've all had a go. We want you to get involved as well. I'm going to head back here. Keep distracting Heiki. Get involved as well. You'll see lots of stuff out on social media with a share code. Get involved on Forza. You can design your own lap and you can pit yourselves against these drivers here. You may even end up on our leaderboard. We have our new championship driver at the end of the sofa. Excuse me, excuse me. Andreas, welcome yeah. to the Extreme e family. How are you doing? I'm good, I'm good. Uh, first time trying this, uh, this uh, Forza. Forza, yes. Yeah, uh, so pumped to see how, how we get uh, around. There's a fly in my face, but I didn't, I didn't eat it. <laughs> oh, uh, lovely. Uh, well, best of luck on Forza. As I was saying, you guys can get involved as well out there. You can pitch yourselves against our professional drivers, post some fast times. Andreas is deep in concentration now. One thing is for sure, if you do get involved in this, you're absolutely going to be beating my time. I'm going to get practicing. Fudge up. <laughs>